Hey there YouTube, I'm Yukitsu, this is the Yukitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome to more Shogun 2 Total War, so uh, yeah, we're continuing just chugging along, and one of the things I was not actually uh, realizing is we've only got about 72 turns to actually wipe out uh, the rest of these Shogun worshipping bastards and uh, uh, conclude our game, so that's going to be a little bit tricky, uh, if we go into clan management here, we've actually got to take 10 more provinces in that time period, which is not a lot of time. We've got uh, 63 out of 65 loyalist provinces. We've got both of the required specific provinces, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to continue along here, uh, just conquering northward. I mean, we've got actually a little bit of our ally, the, the, the Matsue have uh, taken up lots of Hokkaido, which is kind of ironic because Hokkaido was a, uh, a the last stand sort of of the Shogun forces where the Izo Republic was declared, but I mean, I don't know if we're going to have enough provinces uh, available to take over without having to turn on one of our allies, so I might actually want to keep some of my armies further south than I was thinking necessarily, because uh, we're shoving men material to try and accelerate our war northward as fast as we possibly can, but uh, we might have to actually uh, abate that just a little bit and try to reach further uh, into enemy territories and with the limited armies while well, preparing to backstab some of our allies. That might be what we have to do here. Uh, the Matsume, the Shogun Vanguard, is pretty much on the ropes here. There's not much left as far as their fighting spirits going, but uh, at the same time, we can't really advance. And uh, yeah, we just lost another opportunity there because our allies, our friendly, friendly allies, just managed to take over another province. So, uh, like I said, it's not exactly great for us as far as that goes, but we will be in a position to like just strong arm through quite quickly one of our ally provinces if necessary. Uh, I think, did they destroy anything here with that? No, they didn't. That's kind of ironic and a little bit odd, but uh, let's take a look at their navy. It's three cards. Um, I don't really think they have much choice, uh, chance in this fight unless they've got an ironclad. They might, but I doubt it. Yeah, and then off they go. Okay, so uh, we'll probably just auto-resolve this since... Yeah, no, they're they're boned. They can't do anything about this. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and uh, auto-resolve this fight. It lost us one of our boats, but we did capture 26 and a 14-gun ship, so that works out in our favor. We'll take any of the uh, severely damaged ships out of the fleet, and that's mostly just these three. And we'll send those to port while uh, we run down the last ship they've got here. Because actually removing fleets off the board is... Pretty much a great thing for us. Okay, our torpedo ship took a little damage there. It is a little bit weird when the AI gets to get those extra free movements, but um, didn't, doesn't seem to have affected us all that much in this particular case since we got them anyway. Uh, this fight is going to take us a little bit longer since we are going to have to repair those. I was considering using my navy to uh, leapfrog up there just a little bit just because uh, we have to deal with our friendly, friendly allies here now. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that I can get this train line hooked up as well, but it looks like there's way too much army presence in Suruga for me to actually uh, deal with that. And the Takeyama are just too powerful for me to actually fight them, uh, be distracted fighting them while we're trying to take over Japan uh, from the Shogun forces. So we're going to go ahead and just send our guys up uh, to Kozuke. Actually, Sumotsuke actually ought to do. Uh, and we're going to start moving our armies over to there. Oh, crap, that was the wrong army. Okay, well, um... Okay, how unhappy is this province? It's at zero unhappiness, actually. Well, you know what? That's actually fine. Um, we'll go ahead and recruit another rifleman. Uh, let's check. We are pr uh, charging them taxes. Even though they're not earning us the most income, they are earning us enough. Uh, we'll send these guys over to this way. And what we're going to do is uh, head these guys over to Shimotsuke. And, uh, sorry, this guy rather, this uh, Metsuke. Not Metsuke, this is a uh, Fall of the Samurai, this is a Ishin Shishi. We're gonna head him over there and we're gonna try and convert forces if we can. Um, we should probably also go ahead and let's upgrade this police station to a magistrate, just because I want the spread of that uh, to be a little bit faster. Actually, no, it's only got one. If we fully upgraded this and they took over Shimosuke, oh, right, Shimosuke is the one that got taken over, right? Crap, crap. Uh, so we don't need the Magistrate since we're surrounded. The only one that's not is Kosuke, uh, which is as it is. They've not got their rail connection up either. Uh, was that the rail station province? That better not have been the rail station province. 
No, I think it's Fukushima that's the rail station province. Okay, well that's not too, too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and keep recruiting units over here. We'll get line infantry, even though they're not the best line infantry that we could potentially get. And, uh, I mean, we're still trying to push our forces by train northward, and I cannot... It's been a little while since I've played this, honestly, and I cannot remember which of my forces were getting ready to go up by train. Can I get this far? Chugga, 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 chugga. Okay, they cannot actually make it all the way to my last station. It's still worth getting them by train to that next one, so uh, that is perfectly fine and reasonable and blah. Okay, um, where are my armies? Seriously, there's so many of them. I could probably actually send some troops from Omi, but I'm going to get these guys ready to blitz north towards the uh, Takeyama, just because... Uh, I'm gonna have to attack them, I, I think. Like, the, it's kind of weird, but I suspect that's probably what's going to happen here. Just join these armies up, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll get these guys actually in here since they're slow moving anyway. And, uh, yeah, we'll shove those forces northward. We'll try and recruit as many people as we possibly can from Sagami and the surrounding regions. Just because I have nowhere else really to recruit units from. Other than, sort of, like, these sort of places. Again, it's traditionalist units again, but what can you do? Uh, in this case, actually, I'm just going to get the cheap levy infantry. I'm going to just bulk these places up with levy, and that way I can free up some of these better units that I've got lying around. I can't really from there because I don't have any good units there, but like these Kisha Ninja and so on and so forth. Uh, this city here actually has enough happiness that I can move one, two, three, four, five, six units out of there easily enough. Okay, so let's actually send those guys northward. Uh, we'll send them towards these guys. It's a long journey. Alright, Masashi, very happy here, but there's no good units anyway. Uh, this place is less happy because I need to convert it a little bit more, but that's okay. Let's get this uh, iron smelting plant potentially upgraded, actually. Uh, meager. I thought I had clay now a little bit. Yeah, that's already upgraded fully. Okay, we'll get a military port here. And we'll get a military port here, just so that I've got a fortified coastal region again. And uh, let's continue recruiting these little guys here. And, uh, yeah, that's actually okay. Let's get a foreign veteran up here training these troops. I don't think he was making this place uh, repressed, but maybe he was. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it looks okay. Alright, um... Yeah, this is fine. Alright, so let's send our Ishin Shishi up to Kizuke, Kozuke, and we'll get ready to, uh, oh. Okay, I can't persuade those troops because they've got their general there, their daimyo. Uh, I really need to figure out a way to stop my ally from just rolling over everybody. It's gonna be tricky. It would probably be for the best if I attacked my other allies instead of him, my weaker ones. But, in all honesty, everyone's probably going to declare war on me anyway, just because they're going to be like, Oh, wow, he's a backstabbing traitor, which I would be. So, that's a fair assessment. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably have to fend off uh, my, my former allies in fairly large fights. Um, yeah, I've got like 76 turns now, I think, before the game ends. Not looking good. I haven't taken over anything in two turns. I've got to take over one place every seven. Ish. A little bit more often, actually, but whatever. Uh, they've consolidated all their armies together, so... Oh, they've assassinated someone. Hopefully it was their daimyo. If it was all their... Uh, if there was their daimyo and they didn't have any sons or anything, then I can uh, potentially just take that army, which would help me tremendously up here. Because I'm out of steam up north here, in case you haven't noticed. Like, I just do not have the means to continue this attack. Okay, um... Do they have their daimyo in this army here? It doesn't say. Okay, yeah, it looks like they must have their daimyo. Hopefully they don't have... Okay, they've got their daimyo and two generals, so I'm going to try and assassinate their daimyo, and uh, if none of those generals are the son and heir, uh, or the next candidate, then I'll be able to bribe this army, which I want to be doing here. Enemy wounded, okay. That's even better, because their daimyo's still alive. 
which means that he's still technically going to be present, which means he can't be in that army. So I, uh, it has to actually let me potentially persuade the troops, and indeed it does let me try. 71% chance. Persuasion failed. Fantastic. Uh, this isn't actually crucial, so I'm not going to reset or anything. Like, if it's completely random-based whether or not you're going to succeed or fail, I actually prefer re-rolling the unsuccessful actions if it's important, like if, if it's a win or lose sort of thing, because there's no skill involved in these. Like, if it was um, a sort of mini game or something like that, or there's something I could potentially do to influence it, I would be more willing to just accept the results, but as it is, I kind of feel as though you have to do that. Uh, let's continue bringing uh, this guy, let's bring this guy up to here, actually. How are we doing for happiness over here? Not anywhere near happy enough. Uh, cottage industry can turn to a craft workshop. I'm perfectly okay with that. And uh, we can increase the fortification over there to the fortress. Um, I think that's pretty much all we want to be spending right now for that. Let's uh, get up to Fukushima, which is, an, again, a place I absolutely have to take over. Uh, it's going to be quite vital for me. Um, but at the same time... There is nothing there, wow. Um, yeah, at the same time, I'm not necessarily sure how I want to approach it, because my ally is very, very likely to uh, get there before I do, in, in a very profound sense there. Uh, let's get our shinobi upgraded here. Um, okay, I want him to be more likely to escape, as uh, opposed to being assassinated, since I haven't been seeing that many assassins. I'll we'll go with that, I don't really care. I don't... I really heavily underutilize Shinobi, honestly. Uh, they're actually quite good, it's just... I don't really use them effectively in this one, because you don't need to use them. Let's get them better at assassinating. And even better at assassinating. Um, and that is perfectly fine for now. There we go. Okay. Uh, da -da. How are we doing for research? What are we even researching? Neil Fire, right. Okay, uh, we got some money. Do we have enough for anything useful? Commercial field from barrel... Why is that even upgraded? Must have been upgraded when I got here. Meager, dry dock... Ooh, we got a dry dock here. Let's uh, check out the boats. Uh, I think we can actually get another ironclad here. We can get the Kotetsu, which is actually kind of a weird ship. It's got a much, much larger gun up front than it implies, because all the gun icons basically look the same. So it's only got nine guns, and it can only really fire with six to each side. Or sorry, four to each side. It can only really fire um, a small number of guns. But the one to the front is actually much longer range than every other gun in the game, and it's much, much higher damage. The uh, 1,000 damage, I think, reply, uh, refers entirely to that one gun. Um, and it deals quite good damage. You can actually one-shot some... Uh, ships in match made multiplayer using Kotetsu uh, if they were weaker wood chips. So that's a fairly interesting ship to build, but I don't know if I need one right now. I probably will get one just for the sake of having one, because I do like them. But that's going to be a lot of our cash for this turn. Uh, let's go ahead and hit end turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to start bulking up my forces around Satsuma. I'm going to recall one of my navies. Just because there's no naval action to the north side of Japan at all. Like, uh, there's just none. So I think that that would uh, benefit me a little bit. And make just things a little bit easier for me. For when I inevitably backstab everybody with my chronic backstabbing disorder. It's a shame that I have it, but I have got chronic backstabbing disorder. It's a real, it's a real pain in the behind, but not mine mostly, it's mostly others. All right, stacking agents. Just piling geisha into that one place for some reason. Uh, if that doesn't have their general, like if their general has not yet fully recovered his health, that is going to be an amazing spot for me to wander, wander off to. Uh, looks like I've forgotten, I think I forgot to do something important, but uh, we'll see. All right, our shinobi's been detected. Fantastic. Spring, fantastic, just the right time. Okay, so hopefully their daimyo is still injured. Persuade troops, 61%. Including their son and heir, that would be hilarious. Oh, they've taken the bribe. Did I get the son and heir? Because that would be amazing. Enemy troops persuaded. I got their son and heir. 
You know, I bet he's just like, you know, your dad doesn't really appreciate you, you know? He's like, oh, it's true. I probably shouldn't have done that just then because uh, I bet these guys will go and take that or some bullshit. Um, okay, what have they got for the city here, though? It looks like they should have enough to fend off this stack. One of the things that you can do is instead of auto-resolving these fights in which, uh, you know, you're just like, ah, the AI will screw it up. You can intentionally screw it up. I think that that is sometimes actually the better choice. Uh, let's start working our way up there. How are you guys doing? Still two? Fantastic. Good job for you guys. Um, right. Let's go with that. Let's send this guy into Fukushima. Little do they know it, but uh, they're going to have a rough future up ahead of them. Although I think a lot of that's been cleaned up. I don't think all of it has. Which I'm sort of referring to that uh, nuclear reactor going off, which is, you know, not good. Don't want to be having nuclear accidents in a country like Japan. I guess you don't really want them anywhere, but it's such a densely populated place. You'd think that would be an even worse place to have that happen. Anyway. Um, God. Where's my spot for this thing? Okay, this is where it's happening. Okay, this is like all of my crack troops in one ship, so, uh, yeah, don't get, don't get sunk, guys. I'm thinking, actually, I might set off with this boat, because this looks like enough. This is a fairly, uh, respectable force, honestly. I'm gonna start heading out up there, and one of the things that I'm planning on doing with these guys is actually sweeping up quite far north, instead of just immediately uh, landing them as early on as possible. And the reason for this is that if I can sort of bypass um, my my ally and his bullshit, I can sort of uh, make sure that I can get some stuff that might otherwise get swept up by him. And, and I can sort of block him off by sort of trying to expand downwards towards him. And uh, if I do that, hopefully things will work out well for me. I don't know. Maybe. Let's go ahead and recruit another ship here. Let's go ahead and just get a... Well, let's get a Kankomaru, maybe. Ah, no, let's get a Chigodate. Let's be really inexpensive about that. Okay, uh, Rich Mahjong Parlor, Yakuza Office. I don't know why Yakuza would make that so much happier, per se. Like, the Yakuza are not exactly equivalent to things like the Mafia. Um, I think that the Yakuza were actually something that was just a little bit more legitimized than them. But at the same time, you know, it doesn't mean I like the bastards. Anyway... Probably get me shanked next time you go to Osaka. So if anyone's from Osaka and uh, is listening to me saying this, don't tell the Yakuza I said it. Easy as that. I'm saying Osaka because um, there's actually a lot of uh, Yakuza there as far as I know. Or at least that's what people tell me. Who tells me I'm not saying? Gonna be coy on that one. By which I mean the uh, fish that's very popular in Japan. In, in domestic ponds. Anyway... Um, we haven't had a fight in a while, have we? Peace has already settled over Japan, just waiting for me to shatter it so that I can be the overall, like, fascist dictatorial tyrant that Japan is about to get in its wake. Oh, that's different. Where the hell did they even get this army? Alright, well, they've got no reinforcements. They've got, like, twice as much line infantry. I'm gonna try retreating here. I have a feeling there's a good chance that they'll go back into their city. Nope. Okay. Well, this is going to be a little bit rough. So, the deal in this sort of situation is we got to get engaged with as many of our guns as is possible. Once they're firing at our uh, once they're firing at those guns, we can smash into them with our cavalry at as wide a spread as possible. We want our cavalry units spread out as thin a line as possible, and the reason being that uh, in, in Total War, mass is not as good at, in formations is not as important as it is supposed to have been historically. Um, so it'll maximize that charge damage that they do, because like if everyone gets the charge bonus across a wide, wide front, then we're going to deal way more damage, potentially break through their line and kill a whole lot of them. And if we can do that, we might have a chance in this battle. We just have to make sure that our cavalry doesn't get shot by their first volley. We need to make sure that it's our, uh, not our line infantry, our crappy infantry, our levy infantry that's getting hit by that first volley. If we can do that, then we can win this. Is 
This is what I get for uh, complaining that there's no battles. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and figure out where we want to set up. This is actually not a bad hill, honestly, but I'm not sure how much I want to be using it. Because I, what I kind of want to do is make it so that the enemy has to approach as close as is humanly possible before we get into our fight. Hmm. Their General Satsumoto is a traditionalist, so I guess he hasn't converted over to the uh, ways of the future, which I'm using yet. All right, we're going to use the inverse slope um, sort of strategy here, which means that my cavalry is going to take just a little bit longer to get up there, and our guns are not going to engage until the last second when they crest over this hill, but it means that we'll be starting our engagement at much, much closer range, which is what I want. Um, and it's what Arthur Wellesley would have wanted, too. Alright. <clears throat> so hypothetically, a couple of our cavalry units should be protected from fire until they get much closer. Uh, we're going to move them out to the wings here. A little bit further. Just because that's what I want happening here. And, yeah, hopefully what's going to happen is they'll come up over the crest of the hill... Uh, they'll start opening volleys from very, very close range with my guns, and uh, we'll be able to start wiping them out with cavalry charges using that massive charge bonus of ours. Uh, unfortunately, our levy infantry are not the most reliable line-holding units, so there is that to consider. Uh, the other thing that we want to hope for is that their units get a little bit tired. One of the things that we're going to be missing out on that is actually majorly uh, disappointing that we won't have is that we won't have that downhill charge bonus that uh, is actually quite substantial. But, yeah, it looks like they're coming towards us the way we want them to be. Alright, so they should be just about in range here. Looks like they will be cresting the hill, though, before these ones can fire. I guess they don't have line of sight. And we want to be patient and just wait for that first set of fire. Let's move these guys over this way a little bit. Okay, these guys have stopped. They're getting ready to fire, I think. Okay, well, this is something that I hadn't really considered. Before our first shots get fired, I'm going to activate that. I don't really care about this guy's son and heir, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do that. I think that by the time these guys set up to fire, we'll have already hit them. I don't know what's going on here, but they're trying to pile in with these uh, line infantry. Oh crap, that's why. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on, but I suspect actually that they're going to charge these guys straight into melee. Alright, we're just getting our General's Guard in there, it's a holding thing. These guys are going to get charged. Not a great charge angle, but it'll do. Should have dismounted before I charged in there. Alright, so that bowled over a load of these guys. They're already wavering. Let's get these uh, Yari key out of there. These guys are also pretty bowled over, but uh, that cav unit got pretty trounced. Alright, let's regroup these guys. As they said, regroup. I'm willing to trust their judgment on it. Charge back in. You're gonna have to charge his general here. I'm gonna retreat with her general since he's getting his ass kicked and I cannot afford to lose him. Oh, there he goes. Alright, so that's going to be a that's gonna be the fight. I 
I think we're going to lose this because of that. If I had backed him off a little bit earlier, we would have potentially won this. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be battle. We're going to lose this one. Oh well. Like I said, haven't played in a while. Bit rusty. Oh well. To be fair, this is a free uh, force, so... Them getting killed. Not really that concerned about it. Uh, oh well. The problem is I, I'm not actually the best cavalry player. Cavalry is not my favorite thing to play with, so... Definitely did impact my uh, ability to win this one. But to be fair, a lot of the things that you I should be doing with cavalry, I don't do because I think they're kind of exploity, but they're not really. Well, the click drag through thing I think is, but. All right. Just take down as many of them as I can. One of the other big reasons, that, like, I'm just really not concerned about having lost this battle this way because, again, this was a free, fully free army. Um, so whether or not I had it in the first place was purely up to luck. Let's get into that General's Hatamoto, see if I can uh, cause a chain panic from the enemy team, if I can kill their general. Our general isn't dead. He just... Um, well, he will be after this fight, but uh, our general's not actually dead, so we've got a small chance that if we win this, he'll come back and he'll be alive. Because if an army flees twice, any of the survivors are automatically killed, which is kind of weird, but it's the way it works. I think it's fair. That way you don't have to endlessly pursue uh, fleeing armies. Oh yeah, no, they're just... I think their general is still alive. But, eh, probably still wouldn't have won even if he did die. All right. And either way, I still win because I ended up killing a whole lot of his troops using his own troops. So the net loss for me is just a bit of money. We'll steal another army of his and just keep this up because uh, we're almost there. We've almost made it to the cities. And to be fair, if I had wiped out this army, it would have been actually a little bit problematic for me because then they wouldn't have been able to defend their own city. So, uh, I mean, I guess it's actually probably kind of a good thing that I lost here on the ultimate level of it. Yeah, I should lose the army completely here. There we go. It would have been weird if it didn't, but that's what the eye has been getting. Okay, well, actually, I don't think they're in reinforcement. I should have not fled. I should have just gotten crushed or something um, intentionally or something like that because, uh, yeah, now my... God damn it. Uh, why? <laughs> okay. This is, this is bullshit. Anyway, let's go ahead and try to make it to a an, an allied... Let's make it through an allied city, I guess, to Fukuoka. Because I absolutely need to steal this city. I cannot afford to let my, my allies take that one. I can't even really afford to let them have Kozue. Kozuke. I'm going to cause... A, I'm going to incite a revolt here. Revolt incited. Good. And this is big enough to potentially take that city. Okay, we need to get these guys forward, but across the border, since I don't want them uh, stopping getting attacked by these rebels here. So I'm going to actually not bother crossing the border. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's continue on. No idea what my friend is talking about. Don't really care what my friend is talking about. Um... No offense to my friend, but just the way it happened to be. Okay, let's go ahead and just raid this. Don't really care too much about uh, actually blowing up their stuff. I actually kind of want their stuff to be intact so my ally doesn't roll over them as quickly. Um, ship built. An honorable death. Yeah, an honorable death for the guy that just immediately quit. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Oh, actually, I think this might be one of my... No? Hmm. I think... Oh, no, I put him in here because I'm an idiot. Well, I'm not an idiot. Well, I am, but 
you know, I, I put him in here so that I could uh, have him gain experience while he's here. This place is... F oh, shit, they're actually building the railway state. I don't have to try and kill my allies badly anymore. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to have these guys stop off over here because I think by then this place is going to be relatively happier. Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit happier. I'll pick up some troops from there. We'll pick up some more troops at Hitachi because I think they'll be pretty happy by then. Uh, we're at plus six already. We'll continue recruiting troops. Line infantry might as well. Um, actually, I can get two from there, can't I? There we go. I'm not even too worried about like raising my economy right now, but I probably should still do it. Um, actually, I should be building military buildings. Anyway, let's go ahead and build ourselves a, an inn here. I could actually get my cotton building factory or my silk manufacturing now. But I think the factory tier that I'm actually at isn't strictly speaking worse. So let's leave it as is. It's not that it's about uh, a better one at this point in time, it's just that it's different bonuses now. Um, we could build a fortress in Satsuma, that would make sense. Let's build a military port just to improve our odds there. And uh, we've got a really good farm at Higo, right? Yeah, this is Aibatsu Fields. All right. Have I not upgraded the port here? That's kind of funny. All right, military port there. Just protecting our coastlines from Lord knows what. Okay, Bungo, have you got an upgrade port? I think I was thinking of building all of these, but I just didn't have the resolve to do it earlier. Because it really wasn't necessary earlier. It's still probably not necessary now. Okay. I just need someone to roll my allies back, my vicious, vicious allies. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I'll just retreat if they uh, attack them. I love how Goto Island is just holding the hell out. It's just no indication whatsoever that they're going to surrender. Okay, we're in trouble, though. Uh, I, I mean, our allies have just pushed so far forward north ahead of us, and our armies are taking forever to get up there. And, like, they built the rail station about six turns too late. Like, they started it just as my troops got in the boat, <laughs> basically. So, that's fun. I wonder if I can actually institute another revolt in Shimotsuke. That might be a good idea for me. Like, it's probably pissing him off, like something fierce, but... Oh, sweet. Suppressing fire? I don't really need suppressing fire. Suppressing fire is your units, like, use up their ammunition immediately is basically what that is. Um, do I want Gatling guns and Imperial Guard? Not really. Hmm. Mm, I have not seen any indication whatsoever that the AI intends to get those things, the, uh, whatever it's called. Revolver cab is actually really fun, so I'm going to get some of those even though they're awful, strictly speaking. Like, I just said that they're uh, great to use, but they are awful. They're not a good unit. Uh, we're going to sit these guys out here for now. Continue siege. And let's just move these guys up there. Where I've got, apparently, some spare foreign agents. There we go. Okay, let's move these guys over to Shimotsuke. Okay, they've completely abandoned that too, so this would be a great time to do that. Were it not for the fact that I don't actually have the military force to actually retake it, but... You know, other than that, this would be a great time. Uh, Hitachi actually has enough of a detachment, actually, that I could do that. And that kind of sounds like a wrap, but it isn't. I swear. All right, let's uh, grab these forces over here. And uh, just move them over towards there. Okay, so this army should be able to, combine with that one, take out a rebel army if they lodge themselves into this place. Uh, we're going to go ahead and recruit some calves since we don't have very much of it. And uh, continue along. 
these guys, let's uh, continue up northward. And since I do have such weak navy there, I'm going to make sure that I swing by around over to here. If the enemy is building a fleet, I need to know about it. Sharpish. And let's just blow the shit out of this. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we don't want this uh, building up anything. So that should be fine. Let's check out Fukuoka. Uh, if they have an army loitering around there, it's going to be one that we're going to try and bribe. I should have saved a little bit of money for that, but... No, it looks like there's just basically nothing there. Could try and incite a revolt, but apparently I don't have the money for it. That's fair. It's going to take a little while before we actually make it there. We're going to try and scout army here, just so I can move a little faster. Useful no matter which way I'm doing this. Um, right, this uh, fleet was just this thing, which is pretty nice. Let's go have it and uh, reinforce that. And let's have these guys go up and reinforce that. Just going to push our fleets up a little bit. Uh, is this the one with the HMS Warrior? No, that is not. Where is my... Oh, right. The Warrior is up here. No, actually, you know what? The thing is, I don't actually mind it being up here that badly. Because as the enemy... As, as I have to declare war on these guys eventually, the people around up here... Uh, I can sort of have it down further, like, here, but uh, this is actually a pretty good place for it, so that's actually not that bad. Uh, we're going to save up mon money because we have a lot of agent actions that are potentially very expensive that we're going to have to be doing here. 7% uh, chance, yeah, that's the thing. All right. And these guys heading on up and around. Just buy our ironclad. Have they finally taken Goto Island? No, in fact, they were killed down to the last man. Wow. Well done, guys. And then just, you know, add insult to injury. Jesus. I wish that the AI, like the remaining Shogun ones could do that against my allies because my allies are just too good this game. Like, this is the reason I'm actually winning on Legendary. Normally, I can't win on Legendary. But this time, it's just been really good allies. Alright, so once I've moved my two armies together, I might attack. But the thing is, I don't necessarily want to because... Ah, okay, good. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to sally forth against these guys, is the thing. So... Uh, my, uh, reinforcements should be coming from right behind me. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to use Neil Fire with the Levy Infantry. Uh, it's an ability that's activatable by some units, but I don't think it's activatable with all units. Got a long, wide emptiness here that, uh, we're defending on, which is not great. Uh, we can anchor one of our flanks a little bit with some shallow water, but that's like a puddle, basically. Fantastic. Yeah, man. Are we gonna do anything? No? None? Guess not. This is a fairly large battle by contrast. I do like that we're getting a pretty good field battle, but it is against a rabble of rebels. Alright. Um, I'm not even sure this is real water terrain. I think units might even be able... No, no, no. That is an anchor. Okay. Now, the problem is I can't actually use Neil Fire on these infantry because they're too cheap. So, that's fun. Uh, we're going to use these guys as an outflanking force because they're a little bit stronger in melee combat. These guys can actually work okay as a flank firing force if you spread them out into these lines just because they've got a little bit higher accuracy and they've got a fairly decent reload speed. Yeah, their accuracy and reload is okay. So, I mean, these guys aren't terrible uh, in a gun battle. It's just not anywhere near as good as a real unit of guns. I wonder if they default to Neil Fire if you have got it. I don't think they do. Oh crap.
Okay, well, um... So I might have to redo just because of positioning. Let's run our general so that uh, he potentially draws their ire. We're going to move these units as a defensive posture. And uh, we're going to move this cannon to entice the enemy to attack this flank potentially. And we're going to not attack the closest unit, but rather this unit. Okay, this is okay. Now this flank is going to be a little bit awkward. Going to have all these guys put into melee mode so that as soon as I can, we can start uh, working on that. Let's move these guys up so that they can start firing. And I have no idea what's going on as far as the enemy goes, but uh, let's keep firing at units that are not uh, already partly disrupted. Let's move our line less far forward. Move these guys over this way, actually. I have no idea what the AI is doing here. They think they might be melee rush charging us in, like, some sort of suicidal fashion. Um, let's move these uh, shots across the line here. Oh, nope, those are out of range. I'm actually going to have to move my cannons. Trying to readjust their lines to make up for the fact that they've taken the losses across their lines here. Let's move these guys across this way. The hell's my general? How can he be under any danger? Alright, let's move up our cannons. Move these guys this way, so they're not getting themselves into too much trouble. Let's get these guys up here. These bows are probably going to wipe these guys out pretty quickly. Bows are actually much, much faster damage, but that's only when you can get them to work right. All right, let's get these guys into melee. My cannon's almost up here. Not really. Alright, these guys are just about done for, but you know what, that's fair. Okay, and these guys. Oh, that raking fire just uh, finished him off. Reposition. Let's get these guys firing at those guys. All right, and uh, let's get our general firing his pistol off because, uh, you know, that's what you do, laboratory gunfire, right? This unit's actually not gonna break, I don't think. See his spears just walloped them. Holy crap. As far as these units in the further back. How did my general... Oh, my other... I, I, I know what's going on. Not my general general. What happened is they killed my uh, army general, who was the leader, because my actual general isn't the mixed forces leader, I guess is what you would call him. All right, let's have these guys fire at him. I'm kind of used to uh, flaming projectiles dealing extra damage to... Uh, the cavalry, but that's from a different game. Let's see, sprint here. What the hell are you guys doing? Oh god. All 
right. I love how these spears are so utterly useless that I'm just running them forward like this. Cannons still aren't in position. Alright, that's the victory. And end battle. Hopefully we killed enough that we take the city, but I've actually got pretty good confidence in now that we could just take the city in an assault now if we have to. But uh, yeah, that was weird. That was a weird deployment position for my troops to end up in. It's a good thing that the AI didn't respond to them very well. They're just too busy rushing our lines, our main lines. Although I guess we didn't really even need those reinforcing forces. Uh, that was a surprisingly easy battle, given how much we were outnumbered by. I'm not sure what the AI is doing. I think that they automatically give them worse decision-making, though, when it's the uh, rebels. All right, let's go ahead and peacefully occupy this place. It's going to be a little bit unhappy, but looks looks relatively okay. Uh, foreign veteran, shinobi, blah, 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 blah. A million billion agents. All right, you're higher level. Fantastic. Let's go ahead with that. Fine, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead into here. Construction, repair, all the things. This is another reason why I had to save up money, even though I didn't remember. It's a damn good thing I actually did it, though. All right, telegraph office. We'll upgrade that into a train station next turn because we want to continue on with that, even though it's proving to be a little bit of a waste. It's not actually a tremendous waste, but it is a bit of a waste. Um... We can move a couple guys from here into here, or I can reduce taxes. So what I'm probably going to do is uh, absolutely nothing, actually, because we're going to lose the money anyway, it looks like. Okay, uh, fantastic. So these guys, uh, let's have them start moving up. Uh, why don't we move them up a little bit here? And if we've got Ishin Shishi around here, I cannot tell through the smoke. Uh, why don't we just check up here? I guess that's as far as we can go with those guys. Because the cannons are slow, slow things. Okay, um... Sight Revolt here. Fulton sighted. Good. Let's move these guys over here. Hopefully the rebels will take the city, then we'll counterattack and take it from our allies, because that is what we're doing. It's literally what we're doing right now, guys. We're bad people. We are not... This is, uh... This is not gentlemen's conduct within war, I would say. All right, but you know what? Desperate times call for desperate, desperate, ridiculous measures. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Can't really do anything about it. So let's go ahead and uh, check on this fleet. How's it doing? Okay, let's get it over towards Miyogi. This uh, port is still burned, so they can't produce any ships if they're just going to let it sit there. Let's make sure that up here is safe for our ships as well. If not, we can clear out some of the uh, ships that they might have. No? Okay. I don't really care to bomb more of the port or anything like that, because I'm going to be taking that city soon. I don't want to damage it too much more than it already is. Um, let's see if we can find any loitering around enemy armies. That's what we're really looking for. If we can find them, that would be fantastic. This would be our first post monastery. That's, so, that's kind of atrocious, actually, considering how much of central Japan we actually did manage to take. It's just, you know, our allies took way, way more. It's just like, uh, yeah, no, we got some stuff around here. It's just not the stuff we need. Kind of regret taking a vassal earlier on, although that's like one province, so. Um, let's see here. Where's our other boat full of dudes? Okay, so I was going to go here and uh, unload some troops from Kazusa. I can send five, so let's go ahead and grab five. Four, five. And they're exactly okay. Let's go ahead and recruit another unit, though. And this thing, we're going to go join one of our other boats. It's long gone already. It's a little bit like that. They'll meet up eventually. Okay, so I feel like that ship's relatively well protected regardless. You know what, let's actually move these guys in with that ship. That'll protect those guys a little bit better. Even though it is by far the weakest of ironclads in a certain sense, it's still an ironclad. It's still better than most of the ships that it's going to sort of be running into, so there is nothing wrong with it. 
Okay, again, we want to sort of save money for agent actions and for repairing stuff as we sort of get it. And of course, we also kind of want to upgrade cities that we get. Uh, just the ones that are sort of... Um, oh, this has fertile soil. Uh, commercial farming. Do I need a castle? Not really. It's kind of okay, actually. Um, yeah, but we want to keep upgrading things as we get them, and we want to make sure that we still have the money uh, to do our agent actions and to repair stuff as we break it, because we're breaking a lot of stuff, because these guys always break, like, every single building as badly as they possibly can. They're absolute assholes. Um, you know, maybe they're going to eventually leave this place. Are my allies eventually going to just be like, eh, no, we don't need to be by Suruga anymore. We don't ever be, need to be by Suruga again. Um... Damn it! Excitement failed as well. Okay, well, whatever. Let's get across the river again. And, uh, hit and turn. Okay, so hopefully they're gonna move those guys away from there so that, uh, this incitement next turn, if it succeeds, will actually take the city. We'll then, we'll then take the city. Although, of course, that'll destroy the rail system that they're currently building, so maybe I should wait until they finish that. But, uh... I, I'm, a, I'm not a good person when it comes to thinking. Thinking is for other people. Thinking is for smart people. Anyway. Um, yeah, hopefully... Uh, I, I'm kind of wondering, actually, what the victory condition is going to be in Warhammer Total War, because there's kind of that thinking in the back of my mind that I really hope that everybody has really distinct victory conditions, but on the other hand, it wouldn't be a Total War game if it wasn't just take over all the things, because <laughs> that's kind of how it works. Okay, they're moving all their guys through there, so they, they're they savvy. They're suspecting something. They're like, what's this guy doing? What's going on here? It's awfully suspicious. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's go on over to here. And now let's get our army over to here. And oh, isn't it a shame that you couldn't hold on to your province? Oh, oh, what a sad day. Uh, now, I'm going to hold on to this for a second here because I've got... Um, all melee troops and cannons against a garrison. This is one of those few times where I wish I had more throwaway units in an army, but in any event, I've got actually some throwaway units that I can send up there. It's just they won't quite make it this turn, I don't think. Uh, let's send in some very throwaway units, and let's send in some... Mm, we don't want to send cavalry, let's send in a little bit of line infantry. So we'll send these guys up there. That'll be our assistance to them. Uh, that should be fine. Construction here, factory. Thought I was already working on that. Anyway, um, we'll send these guys just straight up since I'm uh, not really too concerned right now about how that works. Let's get these guys landed. Some bark army. Once the army's landed, it really doesn't matter whether or not I've got my guys um, in specific sort of modes. Like, it doesn't matter, or sorry, if, if I take out this port or not. Um, but we are going to move up a bit here, get better bombardment coverage. We So we're not going to bother bombarding that. Like, that's basically what I'm saying here. Let's get our copper clad into this army. Or, I forgot they bombarded, so they... Did I bombard with them or something? I don't know what I did. Oh, disembarking, right, that's the action. Um, anyway. Yeah, let's just continue on spying on our enemies here. See if I can't catch one of their armies. Oh, crap. Worse, I can catch one of my allies. Well. Uh, we're just gonna continue doing what we're doing. We're just gonna spread seeds of dissent as they keep moving upwards. Hopefully, eventually, their army will get worn down or something. I don't know. I don't really have any understanding as how they potentially would get worn down, but maybe they will. You know, the enemy armies are so weak. I might actually be able to just take out Echigo with this army. Like, wouldn't that be funny? Ha ha ha. Anyhow. Got eight happiness here all of a sudden. Telegraph office, upgrade to a railway station. Magistrate's fine. Traditional dojo is fine for all I care. And, uh, let's start recruiting some more troops, and let's start bringing this army up. Let's just bring a little bit of it. Um... 
One, two, three, four, five. That actually should be enough. Let's uh, bring these guys up as reinforcements. They should catch up because of the uh, speed of the cannons being very, very slow. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I really want to do right now. I, I don't have enough money for any impressive uh, structural upgrades, but I'm kind of thinking that we'll actually do this battle here, and this will cap off our episode, I think. Uh, let's move this guy up towards Fukushima. And the reason that I want to move this guy up towards Fukushima is because if th this is captured, uh, I want to be able to... Hmm. I want to be able to sort of retake um, Fukushima quickly with our agents. Sabotage the army. Okay, or I cannot reach there. Fantastic. All right, set next turn. We'll get some line infantry. Oh, crap. No. Right. So to capstone off this episode, let's do this fight here. <sighs> it's like I don't have a brain sometimes. What the hell is with this ratio of them winning to me winning, though? I'm kind of curious about that. Like, the door is open, and I've got tons of melee troops that have gold armor here, so... Once my troops get into melee, they're just not going to die. And, like, I've got two cannons. Let's give this a shot. Because what is the worst that could happen other than I get killed? They've got a basic structure place here, too. So, I mean, this is not exactly something that should be disfavorable to us in any real sense. We can even put our cannons up on a hilltop that is able to get good shots into their citadel. So... I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that this should actually be a much bigger cakewalk than the game is implying, but who knows, maybe I'm dramatically wrong. Okay. Okay, more, more messages from random friends, that's fine. That's okay, that's A-OK. -okay. A professional has turned off his Steam chat, but I never turn off my Steam chat because sometimes there is important scheduling information. It's never happened while I'm recording something, but it... Shut up. Anyway. Oh, God. Yeah, hopefully I won't embarrass myself too much with this battle again. Uh, let's go ahead and wait until the rain stops. Which might be a different season. God, it's like, don't starve. Anyway. Um, okay, is this a good cannon angle? I think this is a pretty good cannon angle, honestly. Let's see if there's a better one. Not sure this I'd call better. Uh, maybe. I'll put one up here so I've got two different angles. And then the other one can be up here. Kisho Ninja, I'm not really going to worry too, too much about their infiltrating abilities. Alright, so can I reach into the castle from here? I can reach all the way across the castle from there. Fantastic. Okay. Let's get our swordsman up here. Tanakachi. Yariki are going to come in through the opposite side, through the other gate, once the enemy is sort of distracted. And uh, hopefully that'll happen at some point in time. And uh, our general's over here. Fantastic. And I don't really care which units my guys attack. Like, it doesn't really matter since they're virtually all levy infantry. But in this case, I don't really want them attacking the ones on the walls. I kind of want them attacking the guys that are a little bit inside the uh, center here, because this is a very large knot of troops. Oh, am I blocked? That's a shame. I think I somehow killed zero people from there. Hmm. Can I get these guys? Not if they move, probably. Holy crap. Hmm. How many people have I killed so far? 180 and 33 with this one. Unfortunately hitting the uh, Tenchu a little bit here, which is completely useless. Hmm. I might want to sneak forward just so I can figure out what I'm hitting here a little bit better. Let's 
get these guys firing at that. For all I know, I'm also using like the wrong side of things. Anyway, let's move up a bit with our katanas. Boom. Hmm. Well, I'm wondering how many people we've hit here. 220 and 122. Fantastic. That's actually really good. This is one of those times where Armstrong guns really are way better than uh, the parrot guns because the explosion tends to really get more people. Well, let's try and get some of these guys that are further back in here. There we go. Still hitting this Tenshu too much. It's already 100% damage, so... Which one have I even got selected here? That's the one on the right, I think. Oh no, that was the one on the left. Okay, that was good. Let's actually aim at that corner there a little bit. Well, there's 100% damage there, so I can't actually hit that. Let's try and hit this clump of infantry, though. There we go. Hmm. So I think he needs to aim a little bit further back. Let's try aiming at these guys. All right. Maybe I should actually aim at this archery tower a little. That would be smart. Let's aim at both their archery towers. Because uh, the shots going over will potentially hit something like these guys instead of useless parts of these walls here. See? Probably killed like 30 guys. 214, 418. This cannon's just about done for. Ooh, nice. Look at these. Missing the thing I want to hit and just getting even more of what I want to hit. Better than if I was aiming at the stupid guys to begin with. Alright, 91%. Ironically, the closer one is at 68%, which is kind of funny. Uh, good job, guys. One cannon crew knows what's up. Ironically, the less experienced one. That's sad. You know what? It's working, though. Alright, good. Let's uh, aim at these guys over here. This one actually has a better shot towards these ones in the middle slash back without hitting the Tenshu, so... Am I actually even aiming at this tower? I don't know that I am. There we go. One more hit. There we go. Let's aim at the general a little bit more. Okay, this will really heal, this will really have evened the odds a little bit. We've got 419 kills. We've basically killed like a thousand people with our cannons. Which is actually pretty good. Like that's not bad. And just see people being ragdolled around by this. Ooh, nice. Very good hits. These last few hits are great. All right, let's fire at these guys for a bit. Wish the AI was better at picking up where from these units they were getting uh, hits. 565, 400, and 534. Wow, those were good hits. We're over 1,000 kills now, just with our cannons. That'll equalize things really well. Just bodies being tossed up into the air. I love this. This is what this is what this game is great with. All right, so uh, these guys have passed back behind. Uh, let's hit these guys. Actually, let's hit these guys. Let's uh, hit that full health unit. 
We're uh, almost out of cannonballs, though. 20 shots is quite a lot, but it's not unlimited. Unless you're the AI. Because the AI is a cheating, filthy bastard. Anyway. Some of these units are down quite a lot of men. I find it kind of funny that those guys cannot hit anything other than that stupid little wooden building. Yeah, right on target. Well done, guys. Okay, so I think that's actually all my ammunition, but let's start running these guys forward. Of course I picked the one unit that's actually a million miles away. Let's start advancing forward a little bit slowly. We'll have our these guys coming in sort of as a reserve afterwards for us. And now let's go ahead and just accelerate this just a little bit. But a lot of their units are not actually properly manning the walls, so we should be able to sprint up people through this door here. Um, we'll want to use these guys first, so let's actually go ahead and... Uh, let's get our whole group of swords. Because I, what I want to do with these guys is actually manage to get them up on the walls and potentially grenade something. Man, a lot of these units are at like half health and stuff like that. Some of them are pretty well off, but a lot of them are just trashed. These units are actually pretty well off. I wasn't really aiming for them as much. But yeah, like over a thousand kills with their cannons. 1,300, wow. Okay, I think we're actually just about at the... Uh, so let's go ahead and start sprinting. Okay, so sending in our Forlorn Hope, essentially. Yeah, our timing was actually pretty good. Let's move these ninja like that. These guys are sort of adopting that column that lets them advance quickly and get up that uh, ramp faster. We've got three units sort of advancing more slowly. They're going to be getting in position. We're climbing the walls on two points just to sort of uh, silence the guns that would otherwise be firing at us from this side. Our cavalry is still unable to move because uh, the enemy is still uh, diverting forces to look at them. So on the one hand, we can sort of blitz it a little bit because we can just sort of run units towards it, but eh. It's a little bit hard to justify doing. Let's walk our ninjas up here. I think our sergeant for this unit, or the uh, officer, whichever he happens to be, got killed. We've got fancy vests for some reason. Alright, so this unit's sort of in melee combat, but they seem to still be firing. One of their units is already fighting to the death. Our general's bodyguard is firing his pistol away at them. That's kind of funny. Alright, let's go ahead and inspire these guys. They are our breakthrough force. I would say, even though I don't think it really does much for melee fighters. Might be a good idea to walk these guys into here. Dunno. Alright, so they're no longer looking at this door. Let's get these charge cab in there. these guys in here. I can kind of see actually why this is a difficult fight, just because of sheer numbers left. Like, even with my successful attacks, these guys have got a lot of numbers on their side as I climb in here. Like, my guys are already tired, these Katanakachi, but these ninja are up the wall really quickly, which is going to help. Second unit of reinforcing uh, infantry on the way. And sort of attack this flank here, I think, would be a good idea. I 
Let's get our cav in here. Just a little bit. I think I was getting shot at a little. Oh, well. Yeah, our first Forlorn Hope units are kind of getting tired already. For some reason, I'm incapable of climbing with this unit. I think it's bugged out or something. Because they are not committing any more troops to this fight. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, I kind of want to disengage with these uh, ninja here, just so I can throw my bombs. Let's toggle guard mode. And... Well worth the friendly fire. Alright. Oops, some of my units are routing. Probably my lead unit. Let's get some more katanas in here. Let's get these guys over to here, actually. Okay, this is all of our forces now committed. Except for, of course, our cannon crews, but probably not going to send them into melee combat anytime soon. How many guys have our ninjas killed? Hundreds. It's good. Alright, we'll chuck a couple bombs at those guys, it looks like, first, but... That's fine, just as long as we get these guys away from there. Don't have many bombs left anyway, so won't be very much friendly fire. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Lovely. Still throwing bombs. I didn't think I had any left. Or maybe I don't. Let's uh, go ahead and just switch these guys to melee. Charge him into these levy garrison. General's firing away at something with his pistols, but not really a whole lot they could actually be firing at. Let's get this Yari Cav into the fight, probably with the general. Since the ninja over here are going to easily wipe out the rest of these guys. Yeah, these levy garrison are just gone. All right, into the mosh pit, guys. We call it a mosh pit, but it is actually a death pit. Like any good mosh pit. All right. This is going to cap off our episode, I think. Someone managed to fire off a shot from this melee. That's kind of impressive. I applaud his resolve to fire his gun at, like, such a close range as he's, like, being disemboweled. Because I think everyone's dead now. Yeah. Nope. One brave man. Where is he? No, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was fantastic. Alright, so not that bad of losses. One of our units got absolutely demolished, but everybody else did pretty well and didn't lose too many numbers. So that earns us that uh, province just a little bit early than, earlier than we otherwise might have gotten it. I'm going to continue on with our string of just stealing provinces from our ally as he trundles his way forward haplessly like some sort of horrible horrible monster that just demolishes everything in its path and forces us to do drastic measures to counteract him. I really wish that the AI would actually effectively defend against this guy but they're not. It's just it's tragic it's sad. Yeah one of you got wiped out but that was our forlorn hope so it was kind of a foregone conclusion that they'd get wiped out. Peacefully occupy. Because we definitely don't want North Vassals here. Let's go ahead and get an... Let's go ahead and get an inn. We've got meager soil here. Telegraph office, railway station is fantastic. 
right away and exempt province from taxes for a turn. All right, so that is going to be our turn for now. We managed to take a province despite overwhelming odds against us, apparently, which I think is actually completely bogus, but, um, you know, it worked out well enough because I'm pretty sure they were wrong about everything they were saying to us. Anyhow, we've got ourselves a march on Echigo with some small forces here, but hopefully we'll make it there in time to stop our allies from just taking over everything because I really do hate having to spend money on subverting my own allies. Uh, but anyway, I hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course, as always, I hope to see you all next time.